For those of you who don't know, and maybe every, there isn't anybody here who doesn't know, but Sadako is a Japanese girl who died from leukemia as a result of um, poisoning from the bomb in Hiroshima. And um, probably 30 years ago, or close to that, at the Theater Project, we did the play A Thousand Cranes, which was written by a Canadian um, focusing on Sadako, and it had parallel stories. Sadako's story and a, an imaginary character, Buddy, who was an American kid who was afraid of the bomb. Um, so we're going to do cuttings from, from the play. We can't do the whole thing. And I'll introduce some of them. Others won't need an introduction because they'll be obvious. So this is how it began. It a little warm. How's that? Good. On August 6, 1945, just before the end of the Second World War, the United States dropped the world's first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. Summer sky, August sky, floating alone like a lost bird, one silver plane, B-29, American plane in the August sky. In Hiroshima, before the bomb dropped, an air raid siren sounded. The radio said, A squadron of B-29 bombers is proceeding northwards over the key channel. Residents are advised to evacuate their designated areas. Some people hid in bomb shelters and listened for the planes. But when the all clear sounded and people looked up, there were only two planes left in the sky. One of them dropped the atomic bomb. Picadon. At 8.15 on a summer morning. Picadon. They called that bomb Picadon. In English, it means flash boom. Half the city, over 200,000 people were killed. Thousands were killed instantly. The mayor was picking up his grandson. Picadon. A mother was nursing her baby. Picadon. 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 Today, people are still dying from that bomb. Some people get leukemia, a kind of cancer from the radiation. Radiation is a kind of poison from the bomb. Many people thought the world had ended, but life came back. Weeds, then trees. Hiroshima is beautiful again full of life. We're going to tell two stories today. One is the story of Sasaki Sadako. Sadako was a real girl who lived in Hiroshima. She was two years old when the bomb went off, but the bomb didn't hit her. The other story is about an American kid, Brian Harmon. Everybody calls him Buddy. Buddy's afraid of nuclear war, and he thinks he's the only one. Later in the play, Buddy and a friend of his, Lee, are playing. Ah, it's the end of the world! Face is melting! Ah, I'm dying! Help me, Buddy, help me! I don't want to do this part anymore. It just bugs me. It just bugs me? Man, what's the matter? Nothing. But come on! Swear you won't laugh? Swear. It made me think about the end of the world. You know, the real end of the world, like nuclear war. Nuclear war? Come on, man, it's just a comic. Thanks a lot, Lee. Okay, okay, we'll do another part. I'll be Skeletor. Grow up. So why do you have to think about everything so much? So why don't you ever think about anything? I'm not stupid, you know, I just like to have fun. So immature. <laughs> I can't talk to you about anything. Hey, buddy, I didn't mean... I mean, how can you worry about a little thing like a nuclear war? Especially when you've got a teacher like Miss Parker. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. You can't talk to anybody. 
Maybe my mom. Uh, she's got her own problems. But maybe. Maybe my mom. Where is it? Where is the stupid lettuce? What kind of mother am I? I can't find a job. I can't pay rent. <sighs> okay. I'm going to be up, right? I'm not going to scream or yell at Billy anymore because that is so boring, right? Right. We are going to party. Mom? Mom? Hey, what's going on? Nothing. You got a date or something? No. Can't we just have a little fun for fun? Mom! Well, if you've got to, got to, got to know, I went out looking for a job today. And? And I didn't get one. Then how come? Because we're not going to let these things get us down anymore, right? Right. Wait a minute. We're having a party because you didn't get a job? That's right. That's weird. I may be weird, but I am your mother. Give me a hand. Are your hands clean? Yeah. So how was your day? Great. I didn't get a job either. <laughs> Mom, do you think there's going to be a nuclear war for absolutely sure or just... Probably for sure. You want to talk about something else? Why? I'm eating. Besides, it's not going to happen. How do you know? Because I can't afford it. I probably have to get all new furniture. Mom! Buddy, there are enough real problems in the world without making up new ones. Well, I, I, I just don't think there should be any more bombs. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? It makes me nervous and I've got a million things to worry about. I have to pay the bills and get you into some decent clothes. Mainly, I've got to find a damn job. It's just so stupid. They could probably blow up the world ten times over. Buddy! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. It's just, you shouldn't even have to worry about things like that. It'll give you nightmares. Anyway, you're not really scared of that stuff, are you? Hmm? You're, you're not scared of that stuff. Uh, no, I was just thinking... That's my man. That's my big man. We're all right, right? Right. Because we're together and we help each other out. Let's have a little toast here. The future. The future. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? They don't know it's for real. Meanwhile, Sadako is a young runner. And she loves to run. She's with her mother. Hold still. I'm sorry, Mama. How much longer? I have to go for a run before it gets too dark. A run? Honestly, Sadako-chan, do you think all this running is proper for a girl? Can't you try to be more like other girls? Take Yoshiko-chan, for example. So quiet. Oh, I try, Mama. I really do. I try and I try, but I can't. Maybe I'm not a real girl at all. Maybe, maybe some spirit has taken over my body. Maybe I'm a wild animal. Oh, Sadako. Maybe I'm a horse. Hold still. Or a gazelle. Dung, dung. Sadako. Or a cheetah. That's enough. Keep this up, and you won't be going outside at all. I'm sorry, Mama. It's just that I'm excited. Our teacher, Mr. Namuda, just told me that I've been chosen to be on the relay team next field day. Good for you. With your energy, you'll burn up the track. So, can I go outside now to practice? Don't you want a new kimono? It will be beautiful, Sadako-chan. You will look just like a kokushi doll. I don't want to look like a doll. Well, don't you want people to find you attractive? Do you mean boys? I don't care what boys think. I can run faster than most of them anyway. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll change your mind in a year or two. That's it. Maybe in a year or two. Maybe in a year or two I'll change my mind about boys. Maybe. Maybe in a year or two I should think about making you a new kimono? All right. Outside with you, my little animal. Sadako-chan! Walk. So Sadako practices for a race. 
I practiced and practiced for the big race. Every day, even when it rained. When the day of the race arrived, I saw my family jostling their way up to the front of the crowd. My best friend, Yosiko, was with them. I had no idea so many people would be here. Ah, there's a good spot. Can you see, Yokujo-chan? The starting official raised his pistol, and then the race had be was on. I was the fifth person to run in a five-person relay, but I couldn't stand still. Come on, hurry! Who's winning? Sadako's team is behind. I was ready to run, but I looked. We hadn't even made it to the first pass-off yet. Mama's here today. I wonder what she'll think about all this. It's not very ladylike. All of a sudden, it was my turn. She's off. Run, Sadako. I've never seen her race before. It's certainly not very ladylike. <laughs> but it is beautiful. Fly, my Sadako-chan. Fly. Run, Sadako! Run! <laughs> She's still in third place, and they're coming into the final turn. That's Kyoko in first. And Mitsui's second. Look, Mitsui's trying to pass Kyoko. And Sadako, here comes Sadako. They're coming to the finish line. It's Kyoko. No Sadako. Kyoko, no Sadako. It's, it's Sasaki Sadako of the Bamboo Team. I could hear everybody cheering, but I felt dizzy. In a few minutes, the dizziness went away. My parents were very proud, and after field day, the dizzy. But, but after field day, the dizziness came back, and came back again. I loved my parents. But I didn't tell them. Too many people get sick in Hiroshima. Later, she's with her friend Yoshiko, who loves to eat. How's your digestion? My what? Your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> you jump in again, okay? Okay. Okay. So they're skipping rope. And they sing a song, a folk song, together while they skip rope. Suddenly, Sadako stops skipping and stands with her hands on her knees. What's the matter, Sadako-chan? Nothing. She collapses. Sadako-chan! It, it's nothing. She collapses again. Sadako-chan, are you teasing me? No. Mrs. Sasaki! Mrs. Sasaki! And there's the sound of a siren, and an ambulance comes. Later in the hospital. When we went to the hospital, it was quiet. The doctors took some blood, they tapped my chest, they x-rayed me. I held my breath. Then the doctors went into another room with my mother. I could hear them talking, but they sounded far away. Then my mother said, Leukemia? I felt like I was going to scream. The quiet in the hospital turned into a roar, and that roar wanted to come out of me. When my mother came back, I wanted to say, I can't have leukemia, I can't. But she looked so worried, so I pretended that I hadn't heard. It's just an infection, Sadako chan. But the doctors want to do a few tests. You'll have to stay for a few weeks. Weeks? But you'll be all right at home with the housework and everything? Of course I will. Can I get you anything? You better go home now. It's almost time for you to go make supper. Papa will be waiting and just go ahead. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I told her to go, but my hands wanted to hold on to her. In the next few days, the doctors did their tests. When no one was looking, I read the results. Sadako-chan! Sadako-chan! Are you awake? It's me, Yushi Yoshiko. Hi. They don't usually allow kids to visit on Thursdays, so I lied at the desk. I told them I was 21. <laughs> How are you feeling? Fine. They're just doing a few tests. I know. Mr. Nomuda says you'll be back at school again in no time. You know what we did on Sunday? We went to Mr. Nomuda's house again clam digging, and he boiled sweet potatoes for us to eat. You should have seen Tomiko. She ate four. I was disgusted. 
<laughs> How many did you eat? Five. <laughs> Small ones. Yo, Sakura Chan. You're my best friend, right? Well, you've got to tell me the truth. They did the tests already, and I read the results. Sadako. I know I wasn't supposed to, but no one would tell me anything. But there must have been a mistake. The tests say I have leukemia from the bomb. That can't be true. S S Sadako Chan, I, I, I can't. It's all right. You don't have to say anything, Yosako Chan. I know I'll be all right. I don't feel like I'm going to die. Oh, Sadako Chan, of course you're not. Mr. Nomuda says people don't always die from leukemia. Oh. So it is true. Oh, Sadako. Sadako chan. Mr. Nomuda says. Mr. Nomuda says if anybody can get better from leukemia, you can. Is that true? Did Mr. Nomuda really say that? Of course it's true. Didn't they tell you? They didn't tell me anything. Well, he's our teacher. And he ought to know, right? Sadako chan. What you need is hope. What's that? A paper crane. He's going to help you get better. Don't you know the legend of the paper crane? I can't remember. Well, cranes are supposed to live for a thousand years, right? Yes. Well, the legend says that even if you're very sick, if you <laughs> fold 1,000 paper grains, the gods will make you better. They'll give you a long life, just like a crane. Oh, Yosako chan let me see it. It was like holding a living bird in my hands. I could almost feel warm feathers in a heartbeat, and I could feel my own heartbeat right down to my toes. Thank you, Yosako chan The cranes gave me hope. Each new bird felt like a new life. My room was filling up with cranes, every size and color. Even when I felt sick, if I could move my hands, I folded cranes. One folded crane, two folded cranes. The leaves turn red and fall. Eight folded cranes, nine folded cranes. The wind <laughs> sings through the trees. The birds, the birds to life, they spread their wings in flight. Fold. Sadako, fold Sadako, fold 1,000 cranes. 200 cranes, 300 cranes, snow melts and blossoms grow. 500 cranes, 600 cranes, the sun will warm the day. Don't give up, don't give up. You've almost reached your goal. 940, 950, 960, 965, 970, 980. 990, 995, 996, 997, 998, 999, 1,000 cranes. I kept folding cranes, and then I started to feel better. The doctor said I could go home. I enjoyed being home. I went out for a walk with my family and I felt like an ordinary girl. It was a beautiful time, but I wasn't surprised when I got sick again. When I went back into the hospital, my mother brought me a present. A new kimono, cherry blossoms, but... I stayed up all night to sew it. But I might never get to wear it. Please, Sadako. Help me put it on. You look beautiful, just like a kokushi doll. Yeah, just like a kokushi doll. It's beautiful. Thank you very much, Mama-chan. Will you sing me the song about the cranes? Yes. You have so many now, more than a thousand. Soon you'll get better. Yes. Heavenly cranes fly away. Each year you must leave. When the season comes again, you'll fly back to me. When I died, I was holding Yosuko's crane. My mother's arms were around me. I knew I would never be alone. Nuclear war is a scary thing, but all over the world, 
people are looking for ways to help stop it. There are peace talks and peace marches and peace groups. And in Japan, there's a, bit, a special peace monument. After Sadako died, her friends raised $20,000 to build a special children's statue for peace. The statue is like a mountain with a girl like Sadako standing on top. She's holding a golden crane in her hands. Now kids from all over the world send thousands and thousands of cranes to the statue. They use the statue to say, This is our cry. This is our prayer. Peace in the world.